Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, I've had uh, a few viewers ask me to do some more uh, stuff on switching. So I figured I'd come down here to Bakersfield Yard and catch some switching. Uh, I've got this uh, UP here doing uh, some switching. I'm not exactly sure if this is, if they're just making up trains to stick on the bypass track to be picked up later to get out on the main line and go somewhere. Or if uh, this is if this is obviously not the Famosa local, it's got to be. They're just making up a train. I wanted to go back and shoot where the switching is actually happening, where they're putting cars together. But the SJVR is parked back there. Let's see if we can. And uh, I don't know if you can see him in this shot, but it looks like the SJVR has a crew preparing that train. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the Button Willow or exactly which train that is uh, back there getting ready to do its thing. Maybe we'll catch that. Hopefully, hopefully it is the Button Willow, and we can uh, follow them out on the branch today. But uh, for now, we'll just see what's going on with this UP, and uh, so let's <laughs> flip this thing around, and we'll see what's going on in the Bakersfield yard. That is the. Uh, Bill Avenue overpass there. Down there you got, it looks like they have a, some track equipment parked in one of the yard tracks up there and then we've got the UP. Uh, switching on this track and back into the yard. They're not, uh, as I said, I'm not sure which train they're putting together and now we're looking this way you can see the SJVR sorry for the poor lighting it's uh, about 9 30 in the morning the Sun is starting to move to the south in preparation for winter so morning and afternoon lighting is kind of bad right now but that's all right really not a lot to watch this train from right here is just going back and forth as I said the yard tracks are blocked by the SJVR so kind of be cool to catch them both switching at once so we'll see if that happens well I spoke to the engineer on the uh, SJVR and he said they are not going out on the oil city they're gonna be doing some switching in the yard breaking this train up their train up not this one as you heard me say this is the Famosa the local here I heard him referring to it as job 96 okay but uh, the SJVR sitting there it can do nothing until the Famoso is done doing what it's doing and moves out of the way they are definitely blocking the way for the SJVR so uh, we'll sit here and see what these guys do and then see what the SJVR does as I said I did the Famoso uh, back in 2020 I'll link that in the description below stand here this is the old service rack service bay service area whatever the heck they call it service facility and see the inspection pits and work pits where they do stuff under the locomotives the, those uh, canisters up there are what they use to sand the locomotives put sand in the sand tanks obviously brightly lit area back in its day um, this is not where they would fuel the locomotives. The fuel racks were out there. They have been removed. Uh, somewhere I have a photograph of the fuel racks. I'll stick it in here uh, if I can locate it. But they used those up until the yard actually closed. And now, if they need to fuel trains here, locomotives they will use those uh, semis over there and they 
we'll fuel them here in the yard or they'll go out if they have locomotives parked out wherever one of the branches or spurs will go out there but uh, anyway I never came over here when this was in uh, operation I never came over and watched him do anything I kind of wish I had but I didn't well, I moved over to the other side of the yard. Let's see if we can watch them doing st stuff, but really, there's not much more to see on this side because all those cars are blocking away too, but uh, I don't know. different angle anyway. See the SJVR sitting there still. And well, we've got something coming in here. We are at Kern Junction. You can see that headlight down there. I don't know if that's another SJVR. I heard them working out at 216 a while ago, but I assumed they were going out on the Arvin. But again, that's just an assumption. We'll know in a minute. I was uh, told that they, the 50 lead up at the north end of the Bakersfield yard where these trains go out back out onto the main, there used to be a crossover between the number one and two track. So trains could cross over if they needed to, but uh, over the weekend, they took, they took that crossover out. The 50 lead is still there, obviously. But the crossover has been removed. I guess they just don't use it much anymore or didn't use it enough to uh, worry about it. My source said that uh, it had been out of service for quite some time. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
casing for the oil field. Go to my other stuff playlist. I did a piece called uh, <laughs> LKQ truck. Sound like a jalopy. Uh, stuff they sell. But uh, I did a piece in the other stuff video, uh, the other stuff playlist, about how oil gets from the ground to the gas, uh, the gas pump and into your car. Talk about what they use casing for, for those of you who don't know. Go back and check that video out. I'll link it in the description below. Sounds like I'm going to have a lot of links in the description below, but uh, they're all great videos, if I say so myself. And you can see that this guy has moved off onto the lead track. Which is the 50 lead. And uh, we'll find out exactly what he's going to do. I don't know if he's going to pull the whole train through and... back up into the uh, passing track or what I'm not sure but we will find out whoop no that isn't what he's going to do found that out pretty quickly I guess Here comes that uh, BNSF. And there goes the Famosa back into the yard. Oh, nope, that is not the BNSF, that is one of the SJVRs. Sunmer Street has all the other crossings through downtown in East Bakersfield on the BNSF are no horn zones. So if you're driving through downtown Bakersfield, always be aware that it is the entire length of downtown is a no horn zone. Once they get past the yard, there are a few crossings out on the other side of town and those are horn zones. That guy just ran across that train while it was moving. These people are absolutely insane. 
Good grief. God, girl, whatever it is, idiots. Never, ever for any reason uh, cross a train like that. Even if it's stopped, and you don't know what, you don't know what they're gonna do. Ugh, I hate seeing things like that. All right, well, watch this guy go back and forth enough. Just wait a while, see what happens uh, next. Actually doing something we can see. Not tonight. The guy just said he'll be on YouTube tonight. But.
shiny new cotton seed car. Now to do. Alright, well I had to leave for a little while. When I uh, got back, the uh, SJVR had unhooked from the cars they were hooked to over there earlier. And it backed up and hooked onto this when I pulled up. They were stopped out there. Now they're going again, so. Let's see what they're gonna do. I did a little stuff in the yard uh, recently. Well, I was out here to shoot the, uh, the uh, that BNSF special that came through and notice these Two shiny new paint jobs on these SJVRs. They look really nice. So far, no tagging on them. Been out here for a couple of weeks now. It says GP38s. That's what those two units are. And I'm sure that a lot of you already knew that. So many people, folks out there that are so knowledgeable about locomotive types and when they were built and all that. And, and I know virtually nothing about that stuff. And what I do know, really, I've learned from all of you. And that's cool. I like learning. I can't hard, I have a hard time remembering all of it, especially after COVID. My memory does not work the same as it used to. Uh, especially short-term memory and short-term recall. I'll remember it eventually usually, but it is one of the things that COVID left me with is a bad short-term memory. This weekend, this Sunday, Jennifer and Zayden and I are going to go out to Edwards Air Force Base to the open house. The first one they've had in 13 years. Should be a lot of fun. I've been to about 10 of those over the years. And uh, it's going to be neat to see them uh, doing that again. Thunderbirds are going to be there. And... Uh, We'll be there and I will definitely shoot some video out there. stop so we can get in there and hook the air up.
can hear that chatter going on that isn't this train I'm not sure well it is somewhere close maybe somebody down at the other end of the yard or something at the uh, east end of the yard working it's not out on the BNSF because that's a different channel nope it's not this guy he's told that train to stop as you heard this is a pretty good sized yard even though most of it uh, the, the these tracks are all still in daily use a lot of storage and a lot of switching goes on here as you can see but it is still a good size yard and it goes down about at least about another mile I guess to the end of where the uh, yard tracks are that is looking east or south if you prefer when the head end of this train gets up to the crossing at Baker Street that is an island only circuit at that crossing for the track he's on for the yard track so he will have to stop until the gates get all the way down and then he can proceed through the crossing I see a yellow signal so they have this guy cleared out onto the number two track one north or west As I said, they took the crossovers up there out. So we'll wait and see what this guy's going to do. Alright, well. I wasn't sure what these guys were going to do, so I went back down towards Baker Street about the time they started backing up. Turn around and come back down this way. See this BNSF. It's coming out into Kern Junction. That looks so cool. Looks like you're gonna run into each other, but the tracks are pretty close together here. BNSF going out on the number one track. That's JVR backing up on the number two. exactly sure what these guys are going to do so we're going to have to kind of follow them out I would assume that they're going to back up get the head in beyond the signals there at Kern Junction and then once the BNSF will be out of the way before they clear all that then they'll clear them line them through the crossover and out onto the BNSF which is probably what that uh, engineer was trying to tell me this morning and there's very little access to the BNSF yard um, I know a couple of places where you can get in, but I'm not going to go down there just to watch him park this train. He said they're not going out on the Oil City today, so that would probably mean they're not going to go out on the Minkler, which is the branch line that ties the BNSF together at the end of their at the uh, north end of their yard or the west end of their yard to the Union Pacific at Oil Junction.
not working it maybe idling but it wasn't working hard Bypass back onto the number two track. I moved over here to the other side of the tracks. Uh oh, something's on fire down there. But anyway, I moved over here to the other side of the tracks. Catch these uh, trains coming through. And they did run the uh, BNSF East. First, you see the SJVR still sitting down there. We see his headlights through the concertina wire and fencing around the control point houses. Keep all the undesirables out, stealing everything in there vandalizing it. See why they held the uh, SJVR out there. They're going to run this train out on the from the number whatever. I guess it's the number one track on BNSF. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's all confusing anymore. But from there, regular westbound or northbound track onto uh, the UP number one generally the one they use for southbound or eastbound trains. Looks like that fire is down beyond uh, the office. I hope it's not one of the cars in the parking lot over there. It almost does look like a car fire though. check it out take pictures or anything because I'm not one of those kind of people who likes to capitalize on the misfortune of others really not much else 
down there. AT and T or Sprint or whoever it is has a big uh, facility down there between the uh, old depot and the new yard office. That doesn't look like that looks like a car fire. It really does. see the uh, switch coming normal for that move or actually let's see that is I'm sorry that's reverse for that move so they've normaled or reverse that crossover obviously to bring the SJVR through that off the UP number two and that switch is reversed to take them out onto the BNSF well it was a car fire but it was uh, one of the track department's boom trucks I don't know what caused it but the cab's completely destroyed, the booms still, the hydraulic hoses are still burning a little bit. So anyway, that's what happened here. This is in the parking lot where the maintenance away park their vehicles. Okay. All right, the uh, SJVR is on the move. car go around the gates after they were all the way down. Please don't ever do that. It's really difficult to determine how fast a train is going. Not to mention that it is a very expensive ticket if you get caught. And if a cop sees you doing that, you will get pulled over for it. Well, I don't know. Not if he's on his way to coffee or something, I guess.
joint right there. Looks like they just did a stock point and switch. Switch point and stock rail here. Possibly, maybe a broken rail, I don't know. Probably the stock rail though. Looks like they changed the joints out up there. There are quite a few joints here that haven't been welded. Looks like all the switching is done in this yard today. The Famosa has moved on out, as has the SJVR. So that will conclude a pretty busy day of switching and mainline moves in the UP yard and through Kern Junction. I hope you enjoyed that. Keep shooting me the ideas, drop me comments below, shoot me an email. At motorport 59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content, and we'll see you all later.